Let's calculate the square footage of the roof surface. Just add up the areas of the individual roof sections. You can measure them manually on the roof or use measurements taken from blueprints or from satellite or aerial photo services. Another popular method is to measure the home's attic floor area and add in the dimensions of the roof overhang at rakes and eaves. Multiply this attic floor area by a factor to account for roof slope to get the total slope roof area. For example, if the attic area plus overhang is 1,000 square feet, the roof is very steep. You will need more than 1,000 square feet of roofing material. The roof slope is a basic rise over run ratio. If the roof rises vertically 4 feet over a horizontal 12 foot length, it is said to have a 4 to 12 slope or pitch. You can calculate the slope with these direct rise run measurements using the tape measure and level on the roof. Or you can simply place a pitch finder tool on the roof. A dial will display the slope. We recommend adding 10 to 15 percent to this area for material waste or loss depending on the style of roof you're working on. Then divide the total roof area by the coverage each bundle of shingles provides. Thanks to ICO's True Square Advantage, this is easy. Because three bundles of our Cambridge Dynasty and Nordic shingles will give you exactly 100 square feet of coverage. Unlike most competitors' comparable products whose coverage for the same amount of bundles come up short of a true square. You can also use this square area measurement to figure out the number of rolls of underlayment you'll need. We recommend a good synthetic underlay such as roof guard, cool gray, or storm tight synthetic underlayment for the job. To determine how much drip edge you'll need, just measure the lengths of the eaves and rake edges. To protect the valley area, we recommend an open metal valley flashing, although closed cut and woven valleys may also be acceptable. For further details, please refer to the corresponding ICO limited warranty. To help prevent water infiltration from ice dams, we recommend using ICO's Gold Shield Premium Ice and Water Protector, Armor Guard Ice and Water Protector, or Storm Shield Standard Ice and Water Protector. Use asphalt plastic cement to seal at vents, stacks, or chimneys. Galvanized roofing nails are the best fasteners to use. Make sure they're long enough to penetrate through the shingles and into the solid wood deck, or 1 8 inch through the deck of its plywood or OSB. You'll need roofing nails at least an extra quarter inch longer to install cap shingles on hips and ridges. You're well equipped and prepared now for your roofing project. Keep up the good work.